Assalamu alaikum dear cadets dear cadets i hope you will be safe and sound with your families dear cadets today we are going to start our next lecture of uh, general science of class 8 dear cadets uh, today we are going to discuss neuron and nerve cell neuron or nerve cell dear cadets neuron is the second arm of the nerve cell we can see uh, a nerve cell is also known as neuron so these both are the same thing dear cadets now what is neuron neuron a nerve cell is the basic structural and functional unit of the nervous system dear cadets we have discussed in the previous lecture that what is nervous system so uh, the whole nervous system of a human body is made up of these uh, cells which are known as neuron so millions of these neuron uh, combine with each other and they form a nervous system so it is the basic structure and functional unit of the nervous system uh, in case of function of the nervous system uh, neuron is also a basic unit it is the simplest and uh, smallest unit of the nervous system which uh, the function of the neuron is also known as a function of the nervous system same the structure of the nervous system is made up of the uh, these small uh, cells they uh, combine uh, with each other uh, in the form of fiber and they form uh, a system which is known as nervous system so both uh, Uh, uh in aspect of the function and in this uh, with respect of uh, structure the neuron is the basic structural and functional unit of the nervous system it creates next all the parts of the nervous system for example brain spinal cord and nerves are made up of neurons circulates next neurons transmit messages in the form of electrochemical waves called nerve impulses circulates uh, uh, now we know that uh, nervous uh, nervous system is a system in which uh, um, which uh, uh, carry messages from one part of the body to the another part of the body so uh, how the messages uh, are carried from one place to another so uh, here we can uh, say that neurons which is the basic functional unit of the nervous system neurons transmit transmit means uh, to uh, carry something from one place to another so transmit means transfer transfer circulates neurons transmit messages in the form of electrochemical waves circulates electro means charge chemical means uh, chemical um, some uh, liquid is uh, involved in this process now waves mean up and down up and down um uh, movement of something so uh the in the, uh, our nervous system the neurons uh, transmit these uh, messages how they transmit messages uh, from one part of the body they transmit messages in the form of electrochemical waves all called nerve impulses Uh, that electrochemical wave is known as nerve impulse so next dear cadet we have the uh, figure of the of a neuron it is a typical neuron dear cadet uh, we can see there are different parts of the neuron dear cadet first of all uh, we can uh, we could divide a neuron into three major parts number one is cell body 
Number one is cell body. Cell body. Next, axon. Next, uh, the third and end part is known as terminal end of the axon. But here, cadets, now uh, we will uh, look at what is uh, cell body. Cell body, cadets, cell body, uh, this area, uh, arrow uh, can uh, show that uh, this, uh, the area which is uh, blue in color and uh, some spots are being seen in this area. So uh, this uh, main wide area is known as uh, mostly cell body. This all area, ye brackets uh, is showing that this all area is known as cell body. Next, uh, we have uh, a rod shaped area extending from, extending from the uh, cell body uh, to the away. So this uh, whole area and a yellow uh, bracket, uh, yellow parts are also being seen. So this whole area is uh, axon. Next, uh, some branches at the end are uh, also being seen. So this, uh, these all uh, branches are known as terminal ends of axon. Next, dear cadets, uh, we will discuss and explain these all parts. Dear cadets, uh, what is cell body? The part of the neuron which contains nucleus and most of the cytoplasm is called cell body. Dear cadets, uh, we can see uh, in the above diagram that this is the main area, wide area. So we can in uh, red circle uh, we can see that this all area is. Uh, uh, white and uh, this is the main area of the uh, main part of the uh, ne neuron. Here can it's, uh, uh, in this area uh, the in the middle of this area we can see a support. Uh, actually uh, in the center uh, this is a nucleus. This is a nucleus and uh, around the nucleus there are many different uh, spots. These all parts are actually different organelles, different structures around the nucleus within the cytoplasm. All other area in which nucleus and uh, mitochondria or etc. other structures are present, this all uh, bluish blue area is actually cytoplasm. And uh, within cytopl cytoplasm, different structures uh, in the form of spots and uh, nucleus uh, is present so uh, this all area is known as cell body the part of the neuron which contains nucleus and most of the cytoplasm is called cell body the cadets next uh, the profile projections of the cell body which receive messages are called dendrites. Dear cadets, now we can see in the uh, diagram that uh, with the, along with the cell body, there are different branches. We can see there are uh, different branches like this. So uh, these all are actually fine projections. Projection. Projection mean uh, anything uh, extending from one part of the body. So this, uh, these are the fine projections which uh, of the cell body. This is the cell body. So these all uh, tiny small branches are extended from the this main part, cell body. So these are the fine projection of the cell body which carry messages toward which receive messages. Their cadets uh, these are the branches which carry messages. Uh, here, uh, here will be another uh, neuron 
nerve cell which will uh, deliver message and uh, this message will be received by these tiny branches known as dendrites here we can see these tiny branches small branches are called dendrites so uh, we uh, got the concept of the dendrites in their case next a long projection of the cell body which conducts messages away from the cell body is called axon there can it's um, in the diagram we can see that uh, here is axon axon there can it's uh, this is the long projection of the cell body there can it uh, dendrites are the small uh, projection but uh, axon is the long and large projection of the cell body and uh, what it does it does its function is to carry the message away from the cell body it carries messages away from cell body ye cell body se dur leke jata hai paighamat ko aur ye terminal end ki taraf leke jata hai aur end pe pe jo hamare paas we have some Uh, small uh, branches at the end of the axon these are known as terminal ends and their function is to receive message from axon and conduct message toward the new neuron there will be a new neuron at the end of this uh, at terminal ends there will be a new neuron so uh, that neuron will next uh, neuron will get messages receive message from these terminal ends so these are the terminal ends which uh, uh, carry the message away from uh, from the neuron and uh, it uh, delivers the message to the next neuron dear candidates terminal ends of the axon transmit the messages to the next cells next cell means next neuron dear candidates uh, in uh, in a box uh, we can see some interesting interesting information the carriers impulses may travel as fast as 150 meter per second the carriers uh, it is the fastest uh, speed of a neuron uh, sorry a nerve impulse the carriers nerve impulse mean the transmission of the messages it it means that it is a function of the neuron so what is the speed of the neuron Uh, to transmit uh, messages it is the fastest 150 meter per second within uh, one second these uh, uh, neuron can uh, send its message from one place to another in one second it can cover 150 meter get it next uh, it is the uh, slowest speed what is uh, there, there are some neuron which are too much slow and uh, they uh, may uh, spend uh, much time to travel from uh, from one place to another and this is the 0.2 meter per second 0.2 meter within complete second just 0.2 feet uh, meter will be covered it is uh, slowest speed of the nerve impulse cricketers uh, next uh, we have what is nerve what is nerve cricketers in the previous uh, previously uh, we have studied about the neuron or nerve cell now we will uh, it is the next step nerve that what is nerve cricketers uh, a nerve is a cable like bundle of the axon enclosed in a common sheath nerve transmits messages from one part of body to another the cricketers what is nerve nerve is actually a cable like bundle a cable like bundle uh, means uh, there is a, a some um, a plastic uh, round plastic uh, tube uh, in which in this uh, plastic tube uh, there may be uh, a tiny uh, wires and uh, uh, there are different uh, many wires enclosed that are uh, closed in this uh, plastic wire so 
this is a uh, known as cable cable so it is a bundle of the different uh, many wire so uh, neuron nerve is also a uh, bundle cable like bundle of wire but uh, the nerve is a bundle of axons there are different axons which are connected with each other and which are uh, uh, present uh, along with each other so uh, they form a cable like bundle they form a bundle of axon and these axons are enclosed in a common sheath there is a specific sheath made up of uh, schwann cell schwann cells are uh, surrounded uh, schwann uh, schwann cell surround the axon and they form a common sheath so in short what is nerve nerve is a cable like bundle of axon enclosed in a common sheath you can so what is the function of the uh, nerve its function is uh, to transmit the messages from one part part of the body to another dedicate it's uh, it's enough for today inshallah we will discuss our next topic in the next lecture stay blessed allah